What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Truck News. Email us on mothertruckernews at gmail.com. You know, I made a post the other day, everybody's talking about this, about the uh, trucker uh, Texas convoy. And, you know, they said, Alex, uh, pick a side, uh, pick a side. You got to pick a side. You got to pick a side. Honestly, uh, people think that I am afraid to share uh, my opinion about the trucker uh, convoy and what it stands for. Now, if it truly stands for people coming here legally, then guess what? I am 1,000% all for that. My family came here the legal way. I was born here in America, and I am a proud American first. You know, I am proud of my heritage you know, of being Vietnamese. But before all that, I am so proud to be an American. And so I truly believe that anyone that wants to come here and do business, come here. But if you do, you got to do it the legal way. You know, millions of Americans are struggling right now. It's a recession. For the American people that are watching this video that don't know anything about truck drivers, I'm telling you, it is a recession. Truck drivers are struggling. They're having a very hard time and they're not making money. And so do I believe that everybody in America that's working in America should legally be here? 1000%. Now, here's another thing I want to address. This is, I think, a big one. I actually was able to travel and inform and give news updates about the People's Convoy when it happened. And they raised so much money, over like $1.8 million. There was hundreds of truck drivers. And people at the end complained and said that they didn't do anything but drive in a circle. Right? And so I want to make a clear statement to the American people that the truck drivers that are going for this trucker convoy are doing it peacefully. And number two, if you look at that website that I sent and I'll put a link right here so that you can see it, it has nothing to do with truck drivers blocking a wall or blocking anything. This is for truck drivers and bikers and people that want to be involved and support what this cause is. And so I want to say that, okay, because if you're thinking that 700,000 truck drivers are going to come to this thing, you know, there's, there's like a million drivers that have their CDL. We're in a recession right now. Truck drivers cannot provide for their own family. If they can go there for a few days to support, 1,000% people will. And I think millions of Americans are going to be there in spirit. But they cannot sit there for days off of just, you know, representing alone and not be able to provide for their family. The cause is 1 million percent important, and I get it. But I just want the American people to know that the truck drivers that will be going, they're going to a location that is going to be far enough away from the situation. It's going to be peaceful and they are convoying out of a demonstration for what is going on in America. But they're not going there to block anything. You know, truck drivers are just there for a peaceful reason. I'm just saying that again. And to answer the question about 700,000, the People's Convoy had probably a few hundred, and that was amazing to see. It was amazing to see, amazing to see people get together and do something special like that. But I just want to say, just so that all the American people know, 1,000%, you know, any trucker that goes to this, you know, they're doing it to represent their cause and what they feel. 
but it's going to be a peaceful protest. I don't want to hear anyone say, well, what, what are they doing five miles from the border and they're not doing anything about it? They're not there for that. Okay. This is representation of what it stands for. So everybody, I'm just letting you know, you know, it, it, if you can support a cause, I think it's a beautiful thing, you know, but at the end of it all, you know, I truly feel disrespected that someone would, you know, people would say, Alex, pick a side, pick a side, pick a side. You got to pick a side. I don't have to pick a side. I am an American before anything, and I'm proud to be an American. And anyone that comes into America just needs to do it the legal way, 1,000%. And that's all that's to it. But just remember, people, everyone watching, the truck drivers that are going, I can't say this enough, they're driving there as a demonstration, as a peaceful protest. They'll be miles away from the border and got nothing to do with it. I haven't talked to no leaders, no nothing, but I've covered enough of these protests to know that that's what's going to be. And that's a beautiful thing, but please be safe. And I just wanted to, you know, I'm rambling. I just wanted to share my experience and what I felt. Okay. So, you know, wishing the best for everybody. I love you all.